this next one, I want to see you sink a metric load of baddies. Can you do that for me, Doc Clops? Of course I can. I'll be sure my submarine is locked and loaded. Good. I don't want to hear you clanking around here till you've mastered the dive bomber's twin torpedo tube's ability. Buddy, what a weasel here. We're at the academy. We've got dive bomber. Interesting thing, I could not get that vehicle to register. Didn't come up corrupt, nothing like that. The usual issues I've had. It just simply wouldn't read on the portal. It's like you put it there and nothing happens. Got it on finally, and it, I kid you not, it is sitting on top of the trap slot. It's would not read anywhere on the surface of the portal, but the trap slot, it seems to work fine. So, uh,. That's fine with me, so we're just going to roll with it. But uh, what we do, we've got a Deep Dive Gilgrunt here, so that of course will keep this in standard format. And we'll take a look at it, kind of driving about. We'll supercharge it, take it from there, go in Chapter 3, crank out the quest. All that good stuff, so nonetheless, let's take a gander. Uh, I truly do like this sub. It's pretty freaking crazy looking. Uh, it's a very playful color. It looks like a bath toy. It looks good in game. It's got plenty of gear bits, as you can see. It's kind of feast or famine. Uh, when you see something with a ton of gear bits, that's a sign that I've used the vehicle a lot. And not only have I used this a lot here in the blind playthrough, uh, when my nephew and I do Mind Logics play Skylander Superchargers, uh, this is generally his default C vehicle. Because uh, again, the color scheme's awesome. He likes it pretty well. That said, let's take a look at the blueprint here. All right, so on this one, again, on Gilgrunt, the box stock stuff is not showing up, and I don't know why. I tried it off camera. Uh, cycling into that and it's it wasn't happening <laughs> for some reason so I'll have to try to figure that out but uh, right here performance mods for dive bomber we have got the torpedo buoys those would be stock they're good for plus 10 top speed do that every time <laughs> then we've got the substream jets plus 10 acceleration you got the flex floaties they're good for plus 10 handling you're seeing the theme there i'm sure but then check out the supercharged parts which is what we've got equipped it is the archean echo guns bonus points for looking awesome being cool and having a great name and plus 300 armor let's check out our horn assortments we've got the dolphin disorienter then we have the blaring seahorn after that, you've got the Lost at Sea Signal Horn. I bet that would have been nice when he was initially departed. <laughs> and then High Pressure Whistle Horn. Coming in over here are specialty mods. You've got Box Stock, the Power Propeller, which is, again, very cool uh, on the actual figure itself. you got the Deep Dynamo. It's good for plus 10 acceleration. Box Stock, the Propeller, it's uh, plus 10 handling, so plus 10 acceleration here. Coming down, Mr. Squeaks, which is actually pretty hilarious. Plus 10 top speed. And then the supercharged component, you got the Aqua Splitter, plus 150 armor, minus 10 acceleration, plus 15 weight. The two attacks, you've got Tap X to launch torpedoes. And then kind of sonar based, you've got Tap Y to mark enemies with a sonar ping. Torpedoes seek out marked targets. So. We'll back out of there, back out of here. We're going to hop in this direction. And I don't know that we'll be able to find that stupid urchin thing for me to shoot at. But, uh, again, this is basically supercharged setup, you know, but we're not going to do the supercharged damage because it's not piloted by dive clubs at this point in time. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to see the primary attack here, the torpedoes. Pretty simple. You can fire off basically two at a time they sort of hone in great range as you can see there secondary attack if we come in you sort of initiate the sonar ping let's see if it registers it does not but uh, it will essentially let us you know uh, work out better in the game so I guess we will hop down here and see if we can't maybe find the guy I'm wanting to shoot <laughs> which couldn't find last time for some reason. Couldn't tell you why, I just I don't know where he is in relation to anything. So, uh, Nonetheless, this vehicle looks pretty cool if you can ever like get it, you know, sort of facing the camera, if you will. Uh, 
handles pretty well. It's the most, I mean, it's a legit submarine, basically, you know. Again, it really doesn't need gear bits, so we probably shouldn't even bother, but just trying to showcase it, and I'm hoping that we find that little urchin guy. Not the parked one, but the one that's supposed to hover around something, <laughs> you know. Uh, let's see. Now you know what I'm talking about, because we've used him, not this dude. Let's go up here. Can't get that to register. Now we can. 125 on the sonar ping missiles. Look at the rubber ducky. It's pretty awesome. Let's see. Why can we not find that guy? <laughs> I really don't know where he is. I thought there was a whole, like, you know, drop in, and I thought we had to break this target thing. It's interesting. I don't know, I guess we're going to do our same setup where I just rock it off to Chapter 3 and we sort of check out the damage there because for the life of me, I don't remember where that guy is at and it's just easier to do that. However, uh, I do want to kind of showcase what this drive's like and uh, I guess we'll just supercharge it in Chapter 3. There's lots of nice open areas there and we can kind of check it out. So I'll cut here, I will be back in Chapter 3 and we will see what we can do, so stay tuned. Alright, here we are, Chapter 3, and uh, we're just going to, this is obviously uh, Deep Dive Gilgrunt, we're going to assess the stock damage numbers, so I'll just wheel in a little closer. The torpedoes, 138, and then if we sonar ping, you can kind of see, oh, what did we get? 138 there, but let me see what the sonar ping actually did. 55, excellent. So that's what we needed to see. This is what the vehicle looks like in supercharged, not, you know, like literally supercharged, but we've got the supercharged components. Basically, what I mean by that, you've got to have dive bomber combined with dive clops in order to have sort of like the fists and that uh, propeller in we've got. So uh, there it is, kind of driving around. What I'll do now is park right here. We're going to pull deep dive gill grunts. Uh, which again is an awesome character in this game. Throw down dive clops and supercharge this thing. What I love about this is the color scheme doesn't get screwed up. It just kind of gets that aura to it, which kind of adds to it. As you can see there, though, defeat enemies with a torpedo tubes ability. Have a feeling that's going to be our primary attack, right? So it should be fairly easy. Here he is driving around supercharged just so you get a feel for it. Pretty sweet setup, I must say. But let's come in here, finish this off. We should get credit for it. 150. Awesome. And keep in mind, we are getting, like, extra damage uh, because of the water. Maybe, I, guess, but I think that's how it works. I'm actually not sure. I'm not sure that I pay attention to that. But uh, we'll crank out some stuff here, you'll get to see it. Uh, basically, I guess I'll just clean this area out, and then I'll just move on and we'll replay it a few times. I didn't check ram damage, I guess, but it's not really that big of a deal. So again, when I do this, I like to park, just basically so we don't incidentally kill something uh, with ram damage, which would not be good because we wouldn't get credit for the quest. But as you can see, I mean, you can just destroy things pretty quickly. So, I feel like there should have been more enemies than that, actually. But I guess not. Uh, anyway, I'll continue on here. We'll cut back in when I'm getting close to the 50 mark. And I don't think there's anywhere I can showcase the ram damage. Surprised that there weren't more enemies in there. I thought there was a couple more boats. Guess not. Anyway, uh, I will progress on and we will hop down the tube. Like I said, I'll just uh, cut back in once we're getting close to the 50 kill mark. So stay tuned for that. Alright, we are not in a... Uh, water zone here so magic is still stronger. 150 is what we were dealing with our primary attack. We're now doing 138. You can kind of see it there. Uh, if we do our 
sonar. Well, it doesn't register it being there, but uh, you get the feels for it. Uh, again, I think in the playthrough we should be able to find that damage, but getting very close to completing the quest. We're just eight away, so we should crank it out. Actually, I think there might be enough barrels over here to kind of take care of it. So we will see. Again, approach cautiously. <laughs> and uh, there are a couple hidden in this direction. As you can see, kind of through there, we're up to 45. Oh yeah, we got this. So I'll come over here, and what I'll do is uh, we'll approach the barrels. I usually just start shooting really fast, but we'll approach them so you can see us take them out. They are right there. There's 46, 47, 48. So yes, these right here will be our final two. Dun dun dun. All right, his quest is complete. Now what I want to do, though, is we'll go ahead and uh, dock. We'll get the enemies to spawn out when we re-emerge. And that'll kind of let us... Come on, we want to go back. Okay. And uh, what I'll do here is now we will uh, try to get a sonar read on these. 55, and then 138. Let me try to ram one for you. Again, the sonar read effect is pretty cool. It's kind of hard to ram the, uh, let's see, was it 32 is all? I guess the water would absorb some of that, huh? Yeah, 32 on that, so let's play around with the sonar ability. Again, it lights up kind of your targets, very functional refract. Uh, I'll go ahead and burn through this level, and like I said, we've kind of taken care of his suit. Quest number two, so we're ready for the supercharge challenge now, so uh, stay tuned and we'll go see what Buzz has for us. Alright, we're back here in front of Buzz. We've completed uh, quest number two, the supercharge challenge for Dive Clops and his Dive Bomber submarine. So we're going to see what he has to say. He'll introduce our uh, supercharge challenge and we will take it from there. Great job, Dive Clops! You and the Dive Bomber work together like a dream. I always have. Nothing to it. Well, you've earned the right to be called Supercharger and this! Oh, nice. Plus 25 armor. I will take that. <laughs> so, nice setup there. Now we're going to can it, and we will see how he introduces the supercharge challenge. Always nice to monitor the uh, dialogue and banter between Buzz and the Skylander. Dive Clops, you've shown me that you can withstand incredible amounts of pressure. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> ready to take on your toughest challenge yet? Yep, I'm ready to dive right in. All right, kid. Make sure you've got air in your tanks, because you'll need it. Go see my operative to complete your top secret ninja commando challenge. Alright, so there we go. We cranked out the second portion of his quest. Again, that's the supercharged uh, vehicle and signature driver combo. So wasn't too much to it. Again, we got it uh, taken care of in two rounds of Chapter 3. What we're going to do now, though, is we're ready to go talk to the operative, take on the supercharged challenge. Again, those are pretty fun, and uh, we'll kind of string a few of those together. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. Your support is appreciated. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on Dive Clops and his quests. For myself and Dive Clops, thanks so much for watching. Oneweasem.com, SkylanderClub.com. You can follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. Once again, thanks for watching. Subscribe to stay up with all the latest Skylanders research. And I will catch you back here for some supercharged challenge action.